Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcasts.com. If it's tech, it's here. I'm back with another episode inspired by an email, people. Matt Bradley writes, Your steps on your BowerPower article on how to sysprep Windows 7 easily have been extremely helpful for this fog newbie. The one part I don't know about is the fog crypt. I noticed you end the article saying you use fog to add your computer to AD. But you didn't mention FogCrypt in the steps. Can you shed some light on that? I appreciate it. Thank you. How about this, Matt? I'll take it from the top to fill in the rest of the class on what Fog is, and we'll get to FogCrypt afterward. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by Mosey Pro. Welcome to episode 13 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Today I'm going to show you a really awesome open source operating system and software deployment server that runs on Linux. It's a great alternative to higher priced software like Semantic Ghostcast or Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. It's called Fog. For you IT noobs, the reason you need a tool like this is simple. Let's say you only have one or two computers to manage. In a scenario like that, a simple Windows installation CD works great. It doesn't take a long time to set up. But what if you're managing computers for a company with 50 computers? Hell, what if you manage a company with 500 computers? Manually installing everything could be a huge problem now. What tools like Fog allow you to do, among other things, is set up a computer once with all the software, drivers, and settings you want. Then, take a snapshot of everything, kinda like a Polaroid. When you have to set up another computer just like it, you can just restore the snapshot on another computer with similar hardware and you're done. Everything is configured the way you want it. Some people prefer unattended installs, which is sort of the way you would do this process using Microsoft WDS or Configuration Manager. It's not hardware specific and you can install drivers and updates you need at install time. Doing it that way keeps maintenance of a system image pretty low. You just need to keep your install scripts up to date with the latest patches. With Fog you can do something similar because it not only allows you to back up and restore system images, but you can deploy software with it too. What I like to do is create images of all my laptops and workstations with the drivers only and the latest updates. Then when I deploy the machine, after it's finished, I can push out all my applications from Fong as well. That means that since we don't change our operating systems frequently, you only need to keep your software installation packages up to date. Before I go any further, let's take a short break for this episode's sponsor, Mosey Pro. Sponsor! When it comes to running a successful business, there are many things you have to get right, like hiring good people, But one thing is often overlooked, and that's protecting the data that powers your business. Computers, servers, external hard drives, and even tape backups are vulnerable to failure and data loss. In the US alone, over 140,000 hard drives fail every single week. Even a single incident of data loss isn't cheap. It can cost $10,000 or more to recover data from a single laptop or server. Mosey Pro backs up Windows PCs, Macs, and servers for over 70,000 organizations, from small business and large companies like GE, Starwood Hotels, Accenture, and Subway Restaurants. Mosey Pro is also the backup solution for nonprofits and educational institutions like Stanford University, the Yale School of Management, and many more. If you're not backing up your business data with Mosey Pro, here's a reason why you should consider Mosey Pro to back up your business data. Mosey Pro is easy to set up and use, saves you time, and costs up to 80% less than other solutions, giving you peace of mind and eliminating the hassle of backing up your data. Give our friends at Mosey a call. They've been doing this a long time and run the most secure, most trusted online backup service. Right now, you can save 15% by using promo code PODCAST15. Call 877-669-9776. That's 877-669-9776. 7, 6. Or visit moseypro.com and tell them TechChop sent you. And we're back. So we were talking about Fog and using it for deploying operating systems and software. It does some other things too. Not only can it deploy operating systems and software, but it can rename computers and join them to Active Directory as well. And that's where we get into the answer for Matt's question at the beginning of the show about FogCrypt. You see, after you're done with the installation of Fog, which I'll get to in a minute, you have a really cool web interface to manage Fog with. In the web interface, where you enter your Active Directory credentials to join computers to the domain, you need to enter a password that is encrypted. When you download the Fog installation software, it comes with a program called FogCrypt that is a command line tool that runs in Windows that you use to encrypt your AD password. 
You just run the command below and out pops an encrypted version of your AD password in a text file. If you do not do this, the AD stuff will not work. If you're worried about security, you can modify the DLL for FogCrypt, but I won't be covering how to do that today. Sorry, it's less than a 10 minute show. Google it, people. So let's talk about the installation. How do I put this lightly? Um, it's f easy. It's based on PHP and MySQL, so in order to get it going, you'll need a LAMP server, which you can easily select and install for most distros these days. Once you have LAMP set up, all you need to do is download the installation files and run the install script. Follow the prompts. It really is that easy. Once installed, you'll have the previously mentioned easy to use web interface. The coolest part about Fog is that it allows you to image from Pixie Boot or Network Boot. That means no stupid install CDs or floppy drives. Yeah, I said floppy drives. What are you gonna do about it? Fog can even handle setting up DHCP with the Pixie settings if you don't already have a DHCP server on your network. But what if you do though? Well, if you have DHCP on your network, you'll need to add two more scope options to make Pixie work. You'll need option 66 with the IP address of your Fog server and 67 with pixielinux.0. Once you have that, you're ready to rock and roll with Pixie booting and imaging, son. A full set of easy to follow instructions can be found at the Fog Project Wiki. That's all I have for this episode. If you have any questions about Fog, installation problems, capabilities, or anything like that, hit me up in the comments or shoot me an email info at techchop.com. Also, I love hearing about other free cloning solutions. If you use something other than Fog, let me know about it in the comments or via email as well. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm at El De Pablo. Catch you next time for your prescribed dose of Tech Chat. How about this, Matt? I'll take it from the top to... No. When you have to set up another computer just like it, you can just restore... Let's see. That means that since we don't change our operating system frequently, you only need to keep your software installations packaged. Can a brother get some subscribers up in here?